Hi guys, it's Lenikia. Sorry, I washed my hair, so I had to like this, uh, but I wanted to finish this review because the new episode of The Act is coming out tomorrow, and I wanted to get this out of the way. So, sorry. Okay. So this episode is the Act season one, episode three, called the Wolverines. I think it's the two Wolverines, or maybe the Wolverines. Um. So, anyways, we go to 2011. 11 this is where we are and it's with dd having a gofundme so it's the, it opens up with dd having this gofundme for um gypsy where she's getting all this money and she's thanking people and like oh well, gypsy rose thank you thanks you so much so she's completely using the um oh, i just threw my notes to the side so she's completely using the fact that um of gypsy fake illness that she's set up to to get money out of people and then we see that she gets letters with people sending money men women from all over get and she calls it the um nest egg fund um so then we see gypsy is watching youtube videos and she's getting dressed for the, and it's the youtube videos with all the like because she's going to this convention for like disney characters and everything and so she's seeing all these different girls and gypsy is at this age now where she's a young lady and she wants to, you know, she has feelings and urges of like that come with going into adolescence, adulthood. You know, she has feelings and urges that comes with teenage years. And she want, you know, she wants a boyfriend. She wants her first kiss. She wants all of that, those type of things. Um, and so they go and buy their, t okay, so D Gypsy and Dee Dee are getting ready, and Gypsy um, is all in yellow and everything, and so is um, Dee Dee, so they're both in that color, and their Gypsy is beauty, and the beast, she's beauty, and she looked really pretty, and she liked her dress because it was, I guess it was a little tighter, so she loved her dress, and she was telling her mother how pretty she was and everything, which, I mean, Patricia Arquette is a really pretty woman, so. It's kind of hard. Like, they're trying to, but it's kind of hard to make her look bad, you know, in the TV show. But, um, so then we see that Gypsy, her mom is like, you need to go change. So she makes her put on Cinderella. And so even with Gypsy going to the convention, she can't do what she wants to do. She can't be who she wants to be. It's her mother gets to decide. So when they get to the convention, um, she said the mother tell Didi tells the woman, um, I need a mother and the you know the daughter of Cinderella the, the princess and the woman is like, how old is um, how old is Gypsy? And she says, um, she's fifteen. And the woman says, oh, she looks twelve. So we're gonna go ahead and let her in free. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna go ahead and let her in free. Or whether whatever because she looks 12 and so they let gypsy go ahead and go in and she and gypsy says oh so when Didi said she was 15 she was born in 95 when they're walking away gypsy said i thought you said i was born in 93 and of course Didi Dee Dee talks about oh it's just my mind i got it confused i'm sorry if i told you that or whatever because you know how she does um so then they they may, meet up with shelly and Shelly, um, you know, is with her, I guess, significant other. Um, and he's and he's a scary person. They, they make a comment about how he scares the kids because he's, I guess, supposed to be um, Vader. And so Shelly has to go and she has to calm the kids down after he scares them and everything. So then um, we see that. You know, they just talk about how how pretty you know the, these girls come up to Gypsy and and they're like they they look like beauty queens. And Gypsy says um, how pretty they are, and um, Dee Dee says it brings her back to her day. She was a beauty pageant, and Shelly says so was she. And she asked Dee Dee what her talent was, and Dee Dee said yodeling. So they're like, oh well, if that's your talent, you got to do it for us now because you got it right. And so she does, and she was good at it. And this man who had spotted Dee Dee earlier came over and he was like, wow, you know, he was infatuated with her and he's trying to get to know her. And so Shelly gets gypsy and she walks away with her so that Dee Dee can talk to this man or whatever. Um, and Dee Dee's all flustered and everything because it's probably been a while since she's had anyone pay attention to her because her life is gypsy. Um, 
so Logan, his name is Russ, but he's playing the Wolverine character, which is the, you know, one the first Wolverine. So, um, they, they talk for a little bit and everything. And he just tells her about getting to know her and who, like who he keeps asking her, like, who's going to take care of you though. Like, I know you're doing all this for gypsy, but who's taking care of you and making sure you're okay and everything. And, and Dee, Dee becomes flustered and she goes, tells him, excuse me. And then she goes over to she- Shelly and she tells her, um, I'm taking gypsy to the bathroom. Like she won't even let gypsy stay by herself. If she got to go, if she has to go to the bathroom, Gypsy has to go too. And Shelly's like, leave her alone. I'll watch her or whatever. And so she does. And she goes to the, she goes to the restroom. Well, while she goes, to, when she goes to the restroom, um, Doug, Dougie, who is Shelly's significant other comes over and he tells her he made a child cry. So of course, remember earlier, Shelly has to go and make the child feel better after Dougie has made them cry so she tells Gypsy I'll be right back and Gypsy's like okay um and so then um Wolverine number two comes his name is his real name is Scott um well he doesn't come D um Gypsy sees him and she goes up to him or whatever and then she um she starts talking to him about being Wolverine and then he starts telling her about Jean Jean Grey, I don't know. I'm not really into it like that. He starts telling her about Jean Grey, which I guess is Wolverine's love interest in um the comics and everything. And um the woman he he's with is um asking Dee, Dee like asking Gypsy about buying stuff, but Gypsy says she has no money. Now, mind you, Dee, Dee is getting all this money, but Gypsy literally doesn't get any of it. Um besides what I guess Dee Dee buys for her, whatever Gypsy doesn't have any money. And so she's like, and he, Scott is looking at that. He's paying attention to that um, or whatever. Um, he does eventually ask her how old she is. And she tells him she's um, 18. Um, so until, um, Dee Dee is in the bathroom and so she's washing her hands and everything after um so she's washing her hands and there's some young girls in the bathroom with her and they're just having a good time and Dee Dee's Dee feeling you know she kind of feeling herself she got flirted with like Gypsy was telling her how pretty she was and then now she's gotten flirted flirted with and she remember her old pageant days and so she's feeling good and everything and then the girls leave out and they bump her and they say oh I'm sorry ma'am and I guess for a time because some people do that they she forgot her age like she felt younger than what she was and then she looks in the mirror and she wipes all of her makeup off and everything so scott takes so scott and Didi are talking and they're bonding and they're liking each other and he really can't believe how sweet she is um and everything so he takes she sees this car and he takes her over to look at it and he literally um, for Dee Dee sweeps her off her feet. The music is playing in the background. He picks her up. He places her in the car and everything. It's just like a great time for her where she's infatuated with him now. And so then we go to him, but he's really nice to Dee Dee. I mean, excuse me, Gypsy. He was really nice to her. So then we go to 2015 which is the murder that has taken place. So Shelly, Mel, and Lacey are talking and Shelly tells Mel and Lacey about a time where Dee Dee called her in the middle of the night. And so Mel is like, well, what did she call for? And she was like, she was asking for this dude's name. And um, Mel was like, who, who was it? Because they were like, they never saw any man, men there. And she said, and Mel's telling them that Dee Dee called her freaked out and everything. And they were like, what? you didn't ask questions like why would she want to know and everything and Mel and Shelly was like I wasn't as close to her Mel as you were I mean but I could understand that but still it'd be like if somebody calls you in the middle of the night and they just have to have this guy's name when you ask I mean I would I'd be like what you want it for or whatever and so Mel is like what was his name and Dee Dee's like she can't remember so um so then we see that Dee Dee goes and she goes in search of gypsy and she's like shelly where is she and she's like oh she's over there with scott and shelly was like you said you would watch her and um Didi's like scott's harmless so she catches up with uh gypsy and of course Didi goes into protective mode where it's almost like an instant dislike for anybody who is nice to gypsy that couldn't 
it, that could fracture the control that she has over her. So she makes um, Gypsy, because Gypsy, when um, she went over to Scott, she had pulled her little, her shoulder, like her dress was up over her shoulders, but she had pulled it down and everything to show her um, collarbone and everything off. So then we see where um, she's just, she's just trying to break them up and pretty much tell Scott to go on about your business. And in the middle of her doing that, Russ comes over and tells her, can you bend her, can he bend her ear for a minute? And so, um, it distracts her and he's just pretty much telling her he wants to get to know her. Like that's pretty much it. He wants to get to know her. He wants to talk to her more, um, and everything. Um, and you could tell that she's kind of smitten, smitten with him, um, as well. So when they leave, Gypsy asks about her dad and says she, um, and, you know, she just asks about her dad, which is, I mean, it's normal because she's asking her mom about love and everything. And her mom tell Didi tells Gypsy that she did love her dad and they were just young and dumb. And she was like, love's not dumb or whatever, but you know, people can be. And she tells, she makes it seem to Didi that I had a choice between loving your father or loving you and I chose you and it may it almost like I chose you and he didn't you know he didn't choose to be with us because she tells Dee Dee that it wasn't her choice to not be with her father that maybe he just left that he left her and she said well maybe it was my choice um because I chose I chose you instead of being with him so more guilt to me it felt like more guilt and of course the um Gypsy is like, I love you and everything. And to me, it's just more control to have over um, Gypsy. Now, she creeps. So Gypsy in the middle of the night, she's looking up Wolverine because earlier he asked her, how could he get in contact with her? Did she have a Facebook? And she said her and her mom. And he was like, you're 18 years old and you have your own Facebook? And she was like, no, I guess not. So now she's um, making her own Facebook so that she can be able to contact Wolverine. Um... So then um, we see Gypsy goes into her mom's wallet and she gets some money out of the nest egg. She gets a few 20s. Um, and then also when she's making her face, excuse me, she does that. But also when she's making her Facebook, she looks because you have to put your age on there. You don't have to put your real age, but some people do. So she looks and um, she wants to know her real age. So she get, goes into her mom's wallet and she sees that she was born in 91, not 95 like her mom said so she realizes she's older than her mom is saying telling people or even telling gypsy that she is um so then gypsy um so gypsy and Didi are at a convenience store and gypsy um Didi tells gypsy can you go ahead and buy me a sweet tea so D gypsy is like okay okay lady so she goes in and buys her a sweet tea and, you know, the gas and everything. But, you know, she has that extra money that she took out of the next egg. And with that money, she also buys um, a cell phone. You know those cell phones they have hanging. So she also buys a cell phone as well. So Russ calls. So the next thing we see is Russ calls Dee Dee. And he's just trying to get to know her um, better. And he, you know, and she's like, how'd you get my number? And that's kind of like, she starts talking to him on the phone and everything. So Dee Dee and Scott start tech. She texts Scott and then they start having this like flirtatious thing over the phone. And they, they're doing this for a month. Like, you know how, when you, you take somebody and you just kind of flirt back and forth over the phone or whatever. So that's what they're doing. And they're like, she did like, you could tell that. He ain't no good, probably. <laughs> but he likes her for some reason. I guess because she's so innocent. And I was kind of like, how old is Scott? Because he's looking way older than Dee Dee. But um, so they have like their anniversary. Um, and she gives him her address. Like if he wants to send her a present or take her, take her away from all of it. And the whole thing running through this whole course of the TV show, um, this episode was pretty much her wanting to be um, taken away. Um, from everything as far as um, you know being with her mom so then we see sorry so then we see um, Scott sends Diddy was in the back or something and 
um, Gypsy looks outside and she sees a delivery truck. So she runs outside and she stopped, you know, she meets the man halfway and he, Scott has sent her a present, which was a red wig. Now the wig is important because earlier in the episode, well, of course, Jean Grey wears, um, is it Jean Grey? She, she has red hair, but early in her episode, that was one of the gifts that, um, prizes that Gypsy could not afford. And Scott, Scott saw that. And plus, they have this whole Wolverine. I don't know. It's they got that thing going on. So then we see that um, Russ calls Dee Dee again, and he tells her about um, he wants because he has a son that passed away. So we learned that about Russ, um, the man who's interested in Dee Dee. He had a son that passed away, and his son was really sick. He, and he said in the end, he was in a wheelchair as well. So he understands that Dee Dee wants to spend all this time with um gypsy and taking care of her but he's tells her he's trying to tell her but you need to take care of yourself too you need to have a life as well and so he wants to come over and do like yard work you know man manly work for her um and everything that's what he says and she was she was kind of she was kind of into it until he tells her i could help with dd and she says no and gets off the phone and that's the end of um, Russ, because she can't, she can't let him help with Dee Dee. Then he'll find out Dee Dee isn't really sick. Plus, I can't believe she was even entertaining him because you know you're lying about Dee Dee B. But anyway, I don't even know if she, like, I truly believe in this series that she believes that Gypsy is really this sick. I'm, I might have got the name through, but that Dee Dee believes Gypsy is really this sick. Um, that's what I believe. But a part of her knows because she she can't let him even though it means giving up on you know him and the relationship and anything like she could have for that she's okay with giving that up because she loves the attention that taking care of gypsy gets her and the money and all of that um so she can't have nobody interfere she can't have anyone interview with that so Lacey comes to visit Gypsy and Gypsy lets her know about, um, she doesn't say Scott's name. And if you really listen to, um, Gypsy, you think she's making this all up. Cause she said, Lacey's like, um, she tells Lacey she met her Prince Charming and he swept her off her feet. And she's literally right about all of this because he did sweep her off her feet. He picked her up on the first time they met. And for her, she did see him and went right after him. Um, and so all, and then she's like, we're going to get married because they've been texting and they talk about, you know, she's asked him, did he want to get married and, and all that kind of stuff. And he's told her, yes. So she does think he's her Prince Charming and he's going to take her away. And she, you know, she told him she wanted a white wedding and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so Lacey just is like, it's like she's, she's, um, pacifying Gypsy by like, okay, yeah, or whatever. So gypsy texts scott and he tells her he has a rough night he's in the er and everything and his phone is about to die so gypsy um goes online and she finds a cab company and she goes to the hospital she wears her red wig um and she goes into the hospital and her doctor from last week he doesn't recognize her because she looks like a complete i mean she's walking so, of course, she's completely different. So she goes to the hospital. She finds Scott, and he is flabbergasted. He's just like, you're walking. And she's like, I can walk, but you have to pretend. Um, but um, I can actually walk, but don't tell anyone. You have to pretend. And he's like, um, she's like, oh, you poor baby. Did they give you any meds? And he's like, no, because I've been drinking. And she was like, you don't tell them the truth. Because that's what gypsies learned, that you don't tell the doctors the truth. Um and it was just a mess, like all of that kind of stuff is just a mess what they have going on. But he's just, I, I don't know why he's not more like what's going on. But I guess one, he's drunk, he's he's in pain and he's just so shocked at how she looks and he like he likes the way she looks and everything. Plus he thinks she's 18. So she gets him and she goes home with him and everything and at this point, we go to Dee Dee, and Dee Dee has found the note that Gypsy wrote to her, telling her that she's left home, that she um she's going to be with Scott, she she she's gonna have a family with him, and um she's she's pretty much done with the whole charade and everything. Side your nineteen year old daughter because, and that lets Dee Dee know she know, Gypsy realizes that Dee Dee's been lying and she knows how old she is. So then Dee Dee gets in a panic and she calls Shelly. 
um, demanding to know, like, think Shelly, what's his name? So she finds his name and as Scott and Gypsy are at the house and they're getting to know each other and she's being so sweet to him. It's almost like Scott can't believe how nice she is. Um, and then they start kissing and everything. And because in Gypsy's mind, Scott is her rescue. He is the Prince Charming. He's going to take care of her. Um, she's about to be with him. Um, and I don't, I don't know what he, I guess in his mind, he's just looking at how pretty she is and everything. So then there's a knock at the door and it's, it's Dee Dee and she's guilt tripping, um, Gypsy into coming home. She tell her, Oh, I know you're, you know, I know you're a big, you know, you're not a baby anymore, but you got to do this the right way. Let Scott come to the house and he can see you. Um, I almost hyperventilated. Do you want me to cause a scene here? And so Dee Dee is waiting, excuse me, Gypsy is waiting for Scott to stand up for her. And he doesn't, he doesn't come to her rescue. Um, so Gypsy like leaves the house or whatever. And she tells, you know, Scott, excuse me. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll talk to you later or whatever. And as she's leaving, Gypsy goes forward. So she doesn't hear this, but Dee Dee tells Scott, I don't know what she told you, but she's 14. So of course Scott wants nothing to do with that. You know, he's not trying to go to jail behind um, Gypsy. And so when they get in the car, all that nice stuff that um, Dee Dee had told Gypsy about, you know, you could do it the right way. I won't baby you anymore. I'll, you know, you could have your freedom and everything that goes out the window. She snatches the wig, the red wig that Gypsy had on because she, Gypsy dressed up. When she went to see Scott in the hospital, she put on the wet red wig. She had on a, you know, a pretty, I think it was a pretty dress. She, she looked really nice. She had on her makeup and she snatches the wig off her head and they drive home and Gypsy is about to walk into the house because they parked the car and Dee Dee locks the doors <laughs> and she, she makes the wheelchair go down and she forces, because when Gypsy was with Scott, she said, I can walk and I'm never getting in that wheelchair again. But Dee Dee forces Gypsy to get into the wheelchair because there might be somebody around looking. So Gypsy has to get into the wheelchair and Dee Dee won't push her up the stairs. And y'all see the house. It's like all those, you know, that rail is long. I, I, why did she make the rail? Like, why did they make the rail like that in Habitat for Humanity? Um, but the rail is long, you know, and it, you go, it, it goes and whatever. And so Gyp Didi will not push her up there. And so Gypsy is pushing herself and she gets tired. And then, then Gypsy, um, she, it's like she has to rest. And that's when Didi gets her and Didi pushes her into the house. And it's like, it's almost like you're going to be, I don't care what you want to be. I don't care. Like the whole show was pretty much like Didi telling Gypsy, I don't care that you want to be a prince that what prince you're going to be the girl that I tell you to be like, she couldn't be beauty and the beast. She couldn't be, um, she had to be Cinderella. She couldn't talk to Scott or anyone. She can only have like a Facebook page with Dee Dee so that Dee Dee can control who's being talked to. Dee Dee can't even have a life of her own, like with a man or with a companion because she, then they would know, what she's doing with Gypsy and she wouldn't have as much control over Gypsy. The gig would be up. The jig would be up. Um, so Gypsy ju just doesn't have a life. Like you thought you were going to be because you're 19 and everything you were going to be with the, you know, get you a significant other, get you a friend. No, you like, you're going to be the little girl that I tell you, you're going to be. It's almost like she's saying, if I tell you you're 15, then you're 15. Um, Dee Dee is just so controlling over Gypsy. Now I did read where um, Gypsy and her father's family I, were not really happy about Hulu doing this show, and they're gonna. I think that they might have a lawsuit against them, or they're thinking about doing one against them. I guess because some of the events, you know, because it's based on so everything, you know. It's, it's, it's just based on the, the, the events that happen. So everything of course is not true. And we already know that Hulu makes it very clear. Um, all we know, but the main part of the story, which is that Dee Dee was very controlling and she had this illness where she had to, to get attention and to feel wanted and needed and to get that, um, adrenaline, adrenaline, 
adrenaline rush that she needs as far as having people just want to be want to know about her want to um get send her money want to give awards to them want to give them houses and everything she gets a rush from that um so and you know she pretends that Dee Dee is gypsy is sick so she can go to doctors and all that kind of stuff we know that part is true so even though like all this other stuff you know they're just making it up as they go along we know that there was no probably no convention with wolverine and all that kind of stuff they're just making that up but still it's entertainment and it's just a tv show so um but i can understand if they would be upset about that or whatever but so that was the act i'm the new episode comes on tomorrow i'm excited about that so thanks guys i hope you enjoy the rest of your night um have a great evening